So why did the elephant bird disappear? It could have been climate change, which turned much of its land into desert. It could have been that people destroyed the forest where it browsed. I doubt if it was hunted to extinction. Anyone who's seen an ostrich in a zoo knows it's got a kick that can open a man's stomach. And an enraged elephant bird, many of the times the size of an ostrich, must have been a truly formidable opponent. I suspect it was these, its egg. They may not have been able to tackle an adult bird, but they could take its eggs, which were a huge source of nourishment. And so I think it's probably these are the reason why the elephant bird is no longer here. Even if the bird itself was held in awe, or maybe fear, by the people here, they might not have had too much trouble in robbing it of its huge, nutritious eggs. So, although there were several factors threatening the bird's survival, it could have been people eating the eggs who dealt the species its final blow. Today, we've come to realize that if you want to preserve a species, you have to preserve the whole community of plants and animals. Some people here are trying to tackle that problem. Rainer Dolsch manages one such group in Indra country. I asked him how much forest remained. As we speak, it's very fragmented. Uh, unfortunately, in this particular area, we have almost no continuous forest anymore. This is a fragment of about 800 hectares. Uh, one crucial issue for conservation is to link these fragments with each other so uh, that uh, there could be genetic exchange between plant and animal species that live there. So if they remained as fragments, really, the inhabitants, the animal inhabitants, are doomed, huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the case. And there is studies uh, concerning the Indri, for instance, uh, saying that uh, a minimum size for uh, uh, a forest in which the Indri can survive is about 1,000 to 1,200 hectares. So you have to link them up? Exactly. And how are you doing it? Well, one thing that we uh, try to do is actually re-establish the rainforest in between these fragments by planting uh, trees that uh, we actually raise in uh, this nursery here from the seeds that we collect in the forest. And, and how's it going? How many are you replanting? Well, we now have replanted an area of uh, about a thousand hectares. You have ideally have at least 60 species per hectare that you plant. So this is, this is kind of a hard work. How many trees do you think you have planted? If you take a uh, thousand trees per hectare as a rule of a thumb, then uh, this makes slightly more than a million trees now. A million trees in how many years? That's in three years of planting. Fantastic. A million in three years. That is a lot of trees.